I recently released a video that determined which is best for solar, a property with an east-west facing roof or a property with a south-north roof. I really should have completed the picture though and looked at properties with southeast northwest facing roofs and southwest northeast facing roofs. Let's do that in this video. Hi there, I'm Gary and welcome back to my channel Gary Does Solar. Before we get too far into this video, it's well worth watching the previous video here where I set the scene then do some data analysis for east-west and south-north facing roofs. The final result in that video really surprised me actually. To watch it I've put a link in the description. And it got me thinking, could a property having a south-east and north-west facing roof or a property with a south-west and north-east facing roof do even better? For a property having a southeast and northwest facing roof, when the sun rises, it's already shining on the southeast roof and continues to do so until well into the afternoon. And later in the afternoon, the sun is also shining on the northwest roof. And for a property having a southwest and northeast facing roof, when the sun rises, it's already shining on the northeast roof until at least mid morning. And actually, most of the day in the summer, if the sun is higher than the pitch of that roof, and from mid morning, the sun is shining on the southwest roof right through to sunset. Here are the two properties I built with Easy PV in the last video, with east and west and south and north facing roofs. And here are the two additional properties that I've just built. The one on the left has a southeast and northwest facing roof, and the one on the right has a southwest and northeast facing roof. Alright, I think we can go straight to the modelling now. But please do give this video a like and also subscribe to my channel if you're getting a lot out of it. Thank you. Here's my solar asthma utility again and we'll use this to calculate the annual generation of each of those roofs. Remember each roof has the same 5.64 kilowatt peak array on it. I'm going to need some help with compass bearings as they're a little more difficult so I'm using this diagram. Northeast is 45 degrees, southeast is 135 degrees, Southwest is 225 degrees and northwest is 315 degrees. Okay, let's model the northeast array first. We'll enter 45 degrees for the orientation, and this gives a result of 3664 kilowatt hours for the year. Now let's do the southeast array. We'll enter 135 degrees this time, and we get 5,705 kilowatt hours of generation for the year. Next up is the southwest array at 225 degrees. This gives an annual generation of 5,748 kilowatt hours. And finally, northwest, which is 315 degrees, and this comes out at 3,717 kilowatt hours for the year. We can now show all of these results in a diagram together with the arrays that we modelled in the previous video, like this. And if you remember, when we totaled up the annual generation for both the east-west and south-north properties, we found that the east-west property had about 3.5% more generation than the south-north property. Let's now total up the generation for our two new properties. Wow, even both of these properties beat the generation of a south-north property. I did not expect that. And what that tells me is that it really does not matter which way your property faces, there is no reason not to get solar. So why not start today? And starting is easy. If you live in the UK, just type get ready for dot solar into your browser and connect with one of the installers in my directory, installers that I trust with my own money, and they'll give you a no obligation quotation in next to no time. All right then, thanks for watching this follow-up video. And please do tell your friends and family that their properties are likely more suitable for solar than they think. Before I go, I'd just like to say thanks to all my Patreon supporters who make all my videos possible. And if you'd like to do some modeling of your property with the Solar Asthma utility that I was using earlier on, you can sign up to my Patreon here. It's very low cost and it's a great way to support the channel. Thank you and I'll see you next time.